What's up guys, it's Ollie from Flight Comp, and in front of me I have the uh, my Tyrannus QX7S. Um, I just got this, and I'm going to try it on my hand launch or F3K models. Um, and in order to make it more usable for me, I decided to make two modifications to this radio. Um, I wanted to add a slider to the side of the radio so I can adjust uh, can the flap camber on the wing. And I also want to put some kind of a charging port on the back and change the battery so I can have like a quick connect charging system so I don't have to take the battery or even the battery case off the radio when I want to charge. Um, yeah, so I actually already made the, um, the slider and I'll show it to you right now. Here it is. This is the slider I came up with. Um... Some of you guys might already recognize that uh, this lever is off a uh, the original Tyrannus X9D. And the pot inside, the potentiometer, is also um, from an X9D slider. And then I had I have a few parts that I 3D printed to, to mount this to the X7. This is the outer piece right here. Um, has two bolts holding it on those go through the case and then through another part inside and there's some nuts that hold everything together um, this outer part actually has mechanical stops for the slider so you can't pull past these points uh, the standard slider has a little kind of pin on it with a little tiny uh, stop on it and a few tiny bump stops and I just wanted something a little more durable, um, just to make sure that the lever doesn't break or anything like that. Um, this came out really well. Uh, I'll take the radio part and show you guys how I did everything, and I'll show you the parts close up. So that's the first mod. And the second mod, which will be in a different video later on, will be uh, putting a new battery in here, probably a lithium ion, and I'm going to make some kind of uh, charge port uh probably poke a hole in this case so I can just plug something in and charge the radio without removing this or pulling the battery out altogether. So let's take a closer look at my slider setup. Okay, this is a standard slider. Um, this is a FR Sky replacement part for the X9 uh, Tyrannus. So if you were to order replacement sliders, I think they're sold as pairs. Um, flight, uh, flight Comp sells them as pairs. Um, so this is the side I didn't use. Um, but you can see it's got just the potentiometer, which is just sort of clipped in to this plate uh, and I don't know how this mounts in the Tyrannus but it probably snaps in somewhere and then you have the lever which is basically just a press fit onto the potentiometer and the wiring so I used uh, the identical assembly for the other side in my radio and except for I didn't use this plate I actually designed my own plate which is very similar to this, except the angles are a little different. So the slider's posi positioned differently in the radio. And um, it's designed to actually fit in some molded recesses of the X7. And it has some holes for the mounting hardware. So yeah, these are only a few bucks. If you want to try this um, mod out yourself, you can pick up a couple of these sliders. I'll leave some links. And I think what I'm also going to try to do is... Uh, leave links to my STL files if you want to download them and 3D print the parts yourself to to, to do this mod at home. Um, check out the description of this video. Hopefully I'll be able to throw some links up there where you can grab the files. So let's take the radio apart and look inside. This is the back side of my uh, slider assembly. Um, this is the part I 3D printed. You can see it's very close to the standard FR Sky part for the X9D. Um, except this plate is shaped differently. And 
it actually butts up against this molded piece of the radio here and this lower edge which is right here but it continues on so you can just push this into the corner and it lines up um, in order to drill the holes for the potentiometer and these mounting screws I printed a little template right here it was really easy I'll show you on the other side how it works you could actually put two sliders on this radio if you wanted to um, I just put this right here held it in place see it butts up against the plastic of the radio and then just um, scribe the hole and uh, mark these two mounting holes here and I used a uh, Dremel tool to cut the big hole and just drill three millimeter drill to do two smaller holes and then I clipped off uh, the connector from the standard part and I just crimped on a servo connector like this easy to do and then on the other side of the radio I cut this is the um, lead coming off the potentiometer up here I just cut that and then zip tied it to this post so it was out of the way and on the other end where it goes to the circuit board I put the other side of the um, servo connector so it's still pretty easy to get the back of this radio off you just have to undo this one connector and I found that putting the potentiometer on the back part of the radio was more ergonomic than trying to reach for it up here so I mean first I was gonna put it up here but it was just a little weird trying to get to it and it felt better back here so that's why I decided to put it on the back the back case um, my parts are designed for the back case I don't think they'd fit up here so yeah I mean that's basically it it was it was pretty easy I mean it's it's just the design work was the hardest part and then 3d printing the parts if you have a 3d printer have a buddy that has one um, yeah you can do this yourself pretty easily just order up these sliders I'll leave the part numbers and links in the description and you need to 3d print basically three parts and you need a couple of flush mount three millimeter screws. They're about, I don't know, uh, 10 or 12 millimeters long and a couple of lock nuts. And that's basically it. You can have um, a slider on your, on your X7. Uh, quickly, I'll just go over the next mod I plan to make with the battery. Um, I'll put a lithium ion or some other kind of battery in here and what I want to do is 3d print some kind of bracket system to hold a, a connector a balance connector here so I can have the battery here and the connector there'll be a lead going to the um, radio and then, uh, another lead going somewhere over here and it'll be bolted to the radio so I can charge it and then I plan to cut a hole in this so that when you slide this on that um, connector will be exposed and I might try to make some kind of rubber cap that can lift up you know kind of like this right here some kind of rubber cap to protect the connector you know when I'm not using it so let's turn this guy on and I'll show you guys that a um, slider is working. Let's see. There we go. And if I move the slider, you can see that it's working. So all is good. I'll have to go into the programming and reset the endpoints so I get full travel both directions. Um, yeah, so that's it for the slider mod. Um, feel free to um, grab the files if I manage to figure out how to link them in the description. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll do another video on this about the battery, so look for that uh, coming soon. 
And thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And if you want to see some more videos that I make, just uh, hit the subscribe button. Alright guys, we'll see you later.